Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode here at T-Roy Cooks. Appreciate you joining us once again. I've got some leftover corned beef that we're going to make some sandwiches with. And I just pulled the flat off. I've already trimmed most of the fat off of this. And uh, this is the point. That fabulous point, man. Oh goodness. Y'all check it out. This thing's still moist, tender. I'm just going to slice it up fairly thin here. Check that out. Doesn't that look good? It's going to make some great sandwiches. All right, I'm going to finish slicing this point. I'm probably going to slice up a little bit of this flat too. Might as well use the rest of it. This is all the leftovers that I had, folks. That was some fine corned beef brisket. Got some fresh sauerkraut here. Got a little pat of butter down there on the flat top. And we're going to just grab a handful of this sauerkraut. I'm going to start warming it through. We're going to add that to the sandwich at the end. And I'll put a little butter down there on the flat top. We're going to warm up. This corned beef. Boy, doesn't that look good. Oh man, and the smell after this starts warming up in my kitchen. Oh man. All right, so move the sauerkraut to the side. We're gonna toast up some slices of rye bread here. And I'll show you the bread here in just a second that I'm using. It's a Jewish rye. There you go. And I've already got the bread slices buttered up, but uh, decided to put a little butter on the flat top just to make sure I get a nice nice brown color on there and don't forget to turn over your corned beef after a few minutes there you go and you can see it's kind of falling apart a little bit which uh, which is fine but look at that crust on there oh man it looks good and I got some uh, German mustards here uh, Lil Bell's sent me three different varieties that's the extra hot this is a Bavarian style and if you look on the side real close it's uh it's a sweet and spicy mustard. There you go. And this medium one right here, this is the one that I'm going to use on my sandwich. And uh, there you go, just medium hot mustard. But this is such a creamy textured mustard. Uh, you can see right here when I start spreading it on the on the slice of bread here. Uh, Karen and I were, were tasting it and honestly I'm not a big mustard fan at all. But I like this mustard. This this is not your ordinary yellow mustard you get from the store. This is some nice, creamy, and it's, it's like a true mustard flavor, much more so than that yellow mustard that you get in your store. All right, come on, t Roy. Let's pile us up the sandwich here with this corned beef. And y'all check that corned beef out. Oh, man. Look how crispy it is. Look at that nice bark mixed in with all that. That is a gorgeous sandwich. Pile it high there, T-Roy. Come on, man. That's how I like my sandwich. Got a little provolone cheese. Might as well put a little provolone. Let's move that sandwich over a little bit. Got to make room so we can melt that cheese down. And got a little Lil Bell's koozie here with my beverage of choice, my, my beer. And we're going to put a little bit of that on the flat top. And we've got this dome we're going to sit on there. Oh, don't forget the side right there, Big T. Come on now. There you go. And we're going to let that steam up in there and melt that cheese for about four or five minutes. And that's what she looks like. All right. And let's finish this sandwich off. Oh, I lost a little bit of the sour crowd on the side. That's all right. Let's go ahead and finish piling this sandwich up real quick here with the sour kraut. That's a thing of beauty, isn't it? And put that slice. Look how toasted up that slice of bread is. Isn't it gorgeous? Yeah, we're going to plate this up and give you a little bit of a close up of it here just a second here we go that's how I like a sandwich the meat just falling out of it like that piled high cheese oozing out the side oh yeah let's slice it up check it out check it out looks like it's straight from a New York deli doesn't it folks that is a fine sandwich all right folks we're fixing to check this sandwich out but as my good friend Sal over Rue Boy Cooks does all the time, you gotta quaff the froth, man. I got me a local beer from Spicewood, Texas, just right around the corner here from Austin, just south of Austin. This is a Solid Rock Brewing Company. This is their IPA, Dauntless IPA. Let's check it out. It's just for you, Sal. Here we go. All right. Here we are. 
let's quaff the froth, Sal. Ooh, that's good. Damn, that's real good. Mmm. <laughs> Check this sandwich out, folks. I've already had a bite off one of them, but uh, thought I would check it out here on video and do some live audio for you. That's what we got right there. Got a little sauerkraut on there. Got that little Bell's corned beef brisket on there. And we got some of that German mustard that also is from Little Bell's. That's some really good stuff, man. Anyway, we're gonna check this out. Got some uh, rye bread, it's toasted. Oh man. Mm. Oh my, my goodness. Mm. Folks, that's amazing. Mm. Beer's good too, Sal. Mm. Seriously, that brisket is still nice and tender and juicy. And y'all saw me pulling it off the stove, man. That thing's, it's just literally falling apart. Got a little provolone on there. And got some mustard on there, so it's not a true Reuben. I like to think of it as a Troy. Well, what do you say? You wanna start a revolution? <laughs> I don't know, I'm just kidding, folks. Anyway, that's a good sandwich. It's really, really good. This is what you do with leftovers when you have corned beef. And I'm out of leftovers now. I made my sandwich here with the last of the leftovers from that corned beef brisket that I did. I mean, if y'all haven't seen that yet, y'all need to check it out. I'll, I'll try to put a link up here, you know, like everybody else does. If not, look at the description box. You know, I'm not technically savvy, but I'll try to figure it out. It's the jiggliest brisket corned beef. Oh, my, oh, it's mouth water. Oh, it's good. This came from that. Anyway, hope y'all stick around for the next video. Y'all give me a thumbs up. Appreciate y'all watching. Hope y'all share the video when you do. Please tell all your friends. T-Roy cooks. Responsibly. <laughs> Ego folks. Cheers to you. <laughs>